welcome to another episode of Josh Plays with Himself. What's going on today, guys? Josh here, back with another toy review for the channel. Today, we're going to talk about the Sun Goku Mini from Dragon Ball Daima. This thing is super f***ing small. I had to get it. Not really for it being Goku, but I'm probably going to customize it into a Goten. Because they don't have a Goten yet, and I'm sick of waiting. So let's see how good this figure really is. So out of box, he looks really tiny. This is definitely the smallest figure that they've made. I'm pretty sure it's the smallest figure. Definitely the smallest one in uh, the Dragon Ball line. So, you got his power pole. Right off the bat, you see his power pole. Put that to the side for now. Let's look at... Well, that one rolled away. Let's look at the articulation. So you can look... You can look up. You can look down. Do a full 360, obviously. You can get his arms to about there. He's got a 360 in the bicep. He's got a single joint elbow, which is okay because it's such a small figure, you're not even really going to notice it. Which it, you get a pretty decent range out of it. So, you get an ab crunch. Not really too much, obviously. I think this hinders it a little bit, but you get an extra one, which the, that's probably the one you use for like action poses and stuff. Looks like a single joint uh, knee. Is that a focus? There we go. Single joint knee. You get a full 360 for the for the leg for the foot peg rather, and you get the toe articulation. So you get the basic face right on him right there. The the sculpt is good. I think it looks great. You get this first face sculpt right here, basic one. Then you get then you get three other face sculpts. You get the kind of like pouting, angry face. The side eye, angry face. And then the screaming face. Now let's look at accessories. You get the power pole in the pouch. And obviously the power pole. You get his second skirt piece. I think this is for like the action poses. You get a windy hair sculpt, which I do like. So you get the... Like a ninja hands, like fighting hands. Then you get the open martial arts hands. And obviously you get the the fist and the other fist. And you get the one pole holding hand. And then you get the other pole holding hand. I mean overall, I do like the figure. It just shows that they can make a figure this small and it still be a quality figure. So I, I, I do hope they make a Goten and a, a Kid Trunks. And, you know, maybe later on make an Emperor Peel-Off and stuff like that. That's a, it's a good figure. I'm, I'm probably going to I'm probably gonna buy another one and then use it to make a custom Goten. So, because I, I, there's no Goten and I, I did make a custom Goten out of the figure-wise figure, but it, it, he's too big. But this is definitely a pickup for me. I, I got it at Comic-Con. It's definitely a cool figure, you know. It's pretty much got everything it needs. The only thing is, uh, he can't really do a split that much. I, I think I almost broke that, which I don't want to do that. His peg is very, very, uh, I'm sure it's not a strong peg being that small. But you can do a split about that much. You can't really kick that high because of the skirt. But you can kind of put him in like a, where's his pole at? Get him in like a jumping action pose. You know what I mean? Let's take his face off and see if I can get his face off. You can kind of put him in like an action pose. It's kind of cool. I don't know how I'm going to pose him. I'm I'm gonna get another one to make a custom Goten, definitely. But this one, uh, I gotta watch the show. So I only watched the first episode. So maybe after the second and third one, I'll get you know an idea of how I want to pose him. But he looks good in my opinion. 
He's kind of hard to stand because his foot pegs. I think uh, they're kind of small, so I think they kind of hinder. Maybe it's just, that's a stupid thing to say, but I think it hinders it a little bit. But his little energy, his Kamehameha wave, he's getting ready to shoot it out. Anytime you put his power pole in his hand, I think it's really cool. Now, I don't have... I don't have, unfortunately, don't have the GT Goku to do a uh, size comparison. But I do have the Dragon Ball Goku to do a size comparison. I'm pretty sure the GT one is about the same size, maybe a little bit bigger than the Daima. And there he is next to Cyberman. I think this is the smallest one that they had before. If, if this isn't the smallest one they had before... And Chow Tzu probably was. This is the, like the not articulated one. I know another one that came with like uh, came with Yamcha is articulated, but this is just the one that he attaches to the back. And just to show another small character, that's him next to Dragon Ball Krillin. Now I don't know if he flies in in the new anime. Like I said, I haven't seen uh, two and three yet. Episode two and three. I saw the first one in Japanese. I'm definitely gonna go see it in theaters uh, when they release the English version. But you know. The hair sculpt, the windy hair sculpt is great. I think it looks great. Put him in a little jumping in the air pose or, or flying pose, whatever you want to do. And I'm sure it doesn't have to be said, but definitely be careful when you're switching out um, his hands and his head because the pegs are very small. I couldn't tell you how many times I've, not on this one, obviously, but how many times I've broken a peg on the Fig Arts figures and it it, it pisses you off, you know? Thankfully, I'm able to print. I'm able to 3D print um, uh, new pegs and stuff for the for the figures that I have. Thankfully, but not everybody does. So definitely be careful when you're switching out the head and the uh, the hands and stuff. I'm pretty sure too, if I'm not mistaken. This pops out. Yep. So this pops out, and then you pop this on. Pop his belt back on. Definitely be careful when you do this too, because the peg is very very small. So that kind of gives you more articulation with the legs. So you can kind of get like a, him kind of running. You see, kind of get him, actually when you're running, you do that. I'm an idiot. So you'd have him in like a running pose and focus for me, please. Thank you. Having like a running pose or kicking someone in the face type of thing. There's definitely a lot in here. There's a lot of detail and a lot of articulation for such a small figure. And this opens the door for so many more figures that are too tiny, that we thought were too tiny for them to make. So this definitely opens the door and I can't wait to see what they do. So overall, I think it's a really, really good figure. Like I just said before, it opens the door for so many more possibilities for smaller figures like Goten, Kid Trunks, Peel Off, Kid Mai, and stuff like that. Any of the smaller characters, the baby characters or the small characters. I hope they do do it. If not, I'm going to try to do it myself. So hopefully I do. If not, I'll try to 3D print it. We're definitely going to have more more video reviews on the channel for more Dragon Ball figures and Mortal Kombat figures. Pretty much any new figure that comes out. I've been slacking a little bit the past couple months. I apologize, but hope you guys like it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a like. I'll catch you later.